Hi guys, um, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. Today I wanted to do a very quick video on the subject of AF and flying. Okay, a lot of people um, contact me and they say, look, you know, I'm terrified of flying. What would happen? Um, you know, I'm worried about um, my AF uh, happening when I'm flying. Um, and therefore I don't try, I, you know, I'm terrified of it. And a lot of people, you know, they have lifetime ambitions. They want to go, they want to visit places and they don't because they're so terrified of the AF uh, rearing its ugly head. Uh, so I thought I'd do a quick video on AF and flying. Okay, I'm, I am going to explore this in a lot more detail as time progresses. But for patients with AF, flying can be a daunting prospect. Uh, firstly, provided your AF is well controlled and you're not extremely symptomatic, by that mean, I mean that you, you know, you're not breathless at rest, you're not dizzy at rest, your, your AF is not going very fast all the time, uh, there is no reason why you can't fly. Okay, The following tips may help you have a worry-free trip. Uh, the first thing I think it's always worth doing is to declare your AF to your travel insurer. It does increase your insurance, but uh, you can also buy specialist AF travel cover, but that just puts your mind at rest that you're covered for it, okay? Uh, it is important to take all your medications, all the medications that you need, because um, certainly anticoagulants, particularly if you're on anticoagulants, then it is really important you take them regularly and don't even miss a single dose. Uh, similarly, it's it may not necessarily be so easy to get medications which can control your heart rate if you were to go have an episode of AF in another country. So it's well worth taking enough supplies of your medications with you and it's worth keeping them in your carry-on luggage, all right? Uh, I would strongly advise that it's very, very important to keep really well hydrated when you're uh, flying because that dehydration can certainly bring on AF. And also avoiding excessive alcohol, particularly the combination of being tired, dehydrated and alcohol is not a good combination. So avoiding excessive alcohol, keeping really well hydrated, um, trying to get a good night's sleep before you fly, ideally try and avoid you know, very early morning flights and try and do, you know, if you can, uh, then that would make life easier. It's generally much more advisable to mobilize, um, you know, regularly and frequently during the flight. It just keeps, uh, reduces the risk of blood clots in your leg. Um, before leaving, you may just want to look at medical centers in close to your ho holiday destination, not because something bad's going to happen, but it just puts your mind at rest that you've done that research and actually if you are less stressed you are far less likely to have problems with your AF. And sometimes I think it's also a good idea to have a, um, a card or a, or a bracelet or something which just tells uh, people about your AF and what medications you're taking and who your doctor is. Uh, and that's just useful information to have with you. Again, uh, not because uh, something bad's going to happen, but it's just because if you're well prepared for it, uh, then then you're going to be less stressed about traveling. So these are just a very few set of tips. I hope you find them useful. Uh, I will be putting out more videos on my Facebook page and on YouTube, and there'll be different videos. So I would encourage you to uh, come and join me on my Facebook page, which is Your Cardiology One, um, or you can. Um, email me on yourcardiology at gmail.com or visit my website www.yourcardiology.co.uk. Thank you so much. All the best. Thank you. Bye.